Hey guys, let's introduce you to an interesting educational invaluable thing ordered from amazon.in. So this is a video of unboxing with detailed description. Hence watch it till the end. And here we go. You might have seen it at office, at home, at library or at school. Do you know what is it? It's a globe, a spherical model of whole earth which serves a purpose similar to map, small enough to fit right on your desk. This is how it get assembled. Take a look. Here we are fitting a nut to fix silver tone spinning stand. Fit the nut tightly. Our spinner terrestrial globe of earth is ready to read. It shows that our planet is covered by land masses and water bodies. It's a magnifying glass worth rupees 299. So this is gonna be an educational video in which we are taking a trip around the world on a globe. We can get to know about the continents, countries, capitals, deserts, seas and boundaries which are clearly marked and easily detected on this enchanting spherical world map. So children, first I make you introduced to the lines of Earth's longitude and latitude. Here you can see the horizontal or sleeping parallel lines. These are the lines of latitude with the central line called equator, which is equidistant from the poles, dividing the Earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. You can see this bold line. This is a line of equator. And now the lines of longitude. You can see the vertical lines. These are the vertical lines with the one prime meridian at 0 degrees. These longitude meridian lines run from north to south from pole to pole. And the degrees of longitude are divided into 60 minutes. So in all these are imaginary lines that encircle the earth in either an east-west direction or in a north-south direction. Together they form a grid which can be used to identify locations on the earth's surface. This is north pole, this is south pole. This is the line of equator. Above the equator is the northern hemisphere, below the equator is the southern hemisphere. This is the Tropic of Cancer, lies in the northern hemisphere. And this is the Tropic of Capricorn, lies in the southern hemisphere. Now the Arctic and Antarctic poles which are cold because they don't get any direct sunlight. The Antarctic Circle it is a land surrounded by sea and this one is a arctic circle which is sea surrounded by the land now we go for the continents which are earth's seven main divisions of land these are from largest to smallest the largest one is asia then Africa This is Africa you can read It is the second largest continent covers an area more than 3 times that of the United States North America It is the third largest continent by area following Asia and Africa and the fourth by population after Asia Africa and Europe South America 
ranks fourth in area after Asia, Africa and North America and fifth in population after Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. And now Antarctica. It is the fifth largest southernmost continent and site of South Pole and is virtually uninhabited ice covered landmass. Europe, the second smallest continent, bordered by the Arctic Ocean to the north and Atlantic Ocean to the west. And the last seventh, Australian continent, smallest, lowest, flattest, and second driest continent after Antarctica. Here you can see marking symbols of capitals, cities, sea routes, cold currents, warm currents and river lakes are given. There are total 197 countries in the world today. Among them largest one is Russia and smallest Vatican city of Rome in Europe. And now the oceans, the largest areas of water in the world and are the seven modern seas appeared bluish in color in the globe. The first one is the Arctic Ocean you can see, second North Atlantic Ocean, the South Atlantic Ocean, North Pacific Ocean and below is the South Pacific Ocean. And here is the Indian Ocean and below is the last Southern Oceans. Now we are going to discuss about the deserts. These cover about one third of Earth's land surface. Because of the diversity of deserts, they have been split into sub-regions. Highest number of deserts are in China. Now the first subtropical deserts in North America Mojave, Sonoran and Chihuahuan Next is a Western Sahara you can see Arabian Desert in Saudi Arabia Kalahari Desert in Southern Africa The Thar Deserts partly in Rajasthan states and northwestern India The Australian Deserts, Great Sandy, Gibson Desert and Great Victoria The Tanami and Simpson Desert in Western and South Australia respectively. Second are the cold winter deserts. The first one Colorado Desert in North America. Patagonian in South America. The Central Asian Desert, Kizilcum and Karakum. Iranian Desert, Shahdar Taklamakan Desert in Northwest China North American Desert, Great Basin Gobi Desert in Northern China Third, Cool Coastal Deserts Namib Desert of Southern Africa Atacama Desert of South America Polar Deserts of Antarctic and Arctic Poles So how was the trip? Drop your comments and don't forget to subscribe and like.
थैंक यू